Okay. <laughs> All right, so I was recording and then I had to shut it off because I forgot to turn my alarm off. All right, so I'm making this book cover out of a Cremets box. Cremets macaroni box. And I've gessoed and painted black the outside. And I'm gluing down. First I put double-sided tape. Now I'm gluing down the flaps. Now whether this is video one or two or three, because it actually is my third one, I'm trying to do a series of 15 minute videos so YouTube will allow me to record longer videos, <laughs> which would be nice. And then, uh, let's see, shoot, I forgot to pre-fold these flaps down so they're not wanting to stick. They're being stubborn. Let's set something on there. So I was telling about my cat who's sick, who has like this bladder condition where it gets full of sludge. And so far in hospital bills, just at the hospital, it's been like $5,000. And then at the vet with the special food and medications that I, he's had to have, like the first time he was sick, he had to have like a lot of antibiotics and painkillers and some kind of spasm controller medicine. And, ugh. and that was a year and a half ago. Then last year, I, I had to rush him in, like right around this time of year. And then now this year, <laughs> the bladder thing seems to be under control. And, but now all of a sudden he wouldn't eat. And so we're trying all these different kinds of foods and they all have to be me those medicated kind for urinary issues. And it's like he's eating less and less, and then he's hiding from me, which normally means they're sick. Um, and then I'm watching his weight go down. Like now, right now, he's like a, a skeleton. He's perfect for Halloween. But, you know, it's not healthy. <laughs> so, um, so I get him into the doctor. And we find out that he has a tumor now that's huge and has grown since um, he was in for a checkup like the second week of August. And since then, it's so big that it's, you know, twice the size of his liver or something. And it's and the doctor's saying that's why he's not eating because he doesn't have room for the food and it's starting to um, encroach on his vital organs and now they need to do an ultrasound um, like a specialist is being brought in of course and it's really just unbelievable I forgot to do this again now um, So yeah, so now a specialist is being brought in. That's going to be like five to six hundred dollars for this ultrasound and the specialist, just for that alone. And then he for sure needs to get surgery, but how serious the surgery will be, you know, will depend on this ultrasound. And it's like, oh my god. So I retired just before the cat decided to do all of this. And I, I had a budget for the cat, but it was for, you know, just doctor visits and, you know, cat food, not, and kitty litter, not, you know, 
$5,000. I guess at this point, I'm probably up to $6,000 in medical bills for this stupid cat, <laughs> which was my emergency fund, you know, for me. But whatever, I don't know. I keep thinking, all right, I'll just take them to the Humane Society, drop them off, run, you know. Or the next time the doctor hands me, you know, a $2,500 bill, I'll just say, uh, I'm not paying it, keep the cat, you know. I don't know. Because it's the bladder condition that he has is like something that can happen anytime. And usually happens often you know <laughs> and sometimes they have to give the cat a sex change operation to make it go away because it's a boy cat condition and there's my alarm and so I will continue this process and um see you later